On the 22nd of July, 2016, Marina Joyce uploaded an innocent video about clothes or something. Wrong! It was actually a terrorist organisation from Syria who kidnapped her and forced her to make videos about pretty pink dresses on YouTube! <laughs> you want evidence, you say? Need I say more? Clearly this finger indicates all the proof we need to know that it's Abu al-Rahman, the infamous deputy leader of the terrorist group ISIS. In 2002, a boy was murdered. That's not related to this video, but my point still stands. Oh wait, it's just her mum. But what about the socks behind the door? Someone or something has been listening in to make sure she doesn't tell anyone that she's been captured by ISIS. Oh, wait, never mind. But don't be so fooled by what you see on the computer screen. Another theory suggests that her mother's saying all of these things to hide the truth, that actually her mother is Abu in disguise, pretending to just be a simple mistake. Clearly this is just Abu dressed as a woman to make sure that you just think it's a simple mistake, when actually it's, it's a whole big deal. We also have information from reliable sources that indicate that she changed after her boyfriend tag video. Prior to this she was being uplifting and cheerful. Could this mean that Abu is also a shapeshifter, able to shape into different people to divert your focus from the truth? I'd met up with a man who does not want to be named to really see what was going on. The man who does not want to be named is called Rhys Warren. We met at a discreet location, which was his house, that he does not want to be known to the public, at 35 Leybourne Court in London, postcode SY19 2YH. So this is the man who brought the Abu al-Rahman issue to light. Thank you for meeting with me. That's alright, I just wanted to be famous. So, would you say that the word famous rhymes with ISIS? I guess. The evidence is stacking up. Clearly something is going on here. Other evidence indicates that she's already been murdered and all the live streams you've seen so far have been pre-recorded. And we have to get to the bottom of it. So rather than messaging Marina Joyce myself, I went onto Twitter to see what other people were saying. People have been worrying for her safety and have asked her to show if she's okay or not. Marina, make a heart shape with your hands if you're in danger. Marina, touch your hair if you're in danger. Marina, do the condom challenge in the bathtub if you're in danger. Clearly we have more than enough evidence to suggest she was murdered, but the most shocking sign of them all is Mr. Cuddles, the ghost teddy bear. We have tried to inform her about this in an interview, but she has yet to reply.